What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. You know how many days I've been trying to film this and when it's like winter slash spring, you know the transition and the weather doesn't know what it wants to be outside. Today, it's a nice day. Yesterday, I was gonna come home and film this video, but as I'm coming home, blizzard. Dumb, dumb, blizzard. Sunny all day, literally blizzard. Not only that, the truck got salty, I had to wash it, I've washed it like five days in a row now because the weather, go to work, it's fine. Come back, rain, sleep, you know, snow, all the above. The last few days I've been trying to film this video, but every time I come home, the weather is in, like incapable of being nice. So today I finally have the opportunity because it's a video I need to film outside. It's an install on my truck. It's something that every truck should have. Some of the new trucks do come with this, but if your truck does not come with this, it is an amazing, amazing addition to your truck. What we have here is the DZ tailgate assist. Now I'm not sponsored by DZ or they didn't send me this, but it is an amazing product and I'm gonna install it on my truck and I'll show you why. So first thing is, does a Ram 2500 fit in a single car garage? The answer is, maybe. This is what I'm dealing with. Here's the tailgate to my truck. When you grab the handle, you know, it goes down till the cables, you know, extend, and there's no, you know, there's no stopping it. Most new cars come, or most new trucks, some do, they come with, you know, easy assist tailgates. So when you, when you unlock, when you uh, pull the handle, it'll slowly drop down. Now Ram, for some reason, doesn't come with that. But, all that can be changed with this $20 part. So whether you have a new truck that didn't come with it, or you have an old truck that didn't come with it, DZ makes parts for Chevy, Ford, Dodge, I uh, believe possibly Toyota. There's a link in the description to this one and it'll lead you to all the other options for this. So if you're interested in something like this, the link is in the top of the description. What we're gonna do is install this today on my truck. Simple installation over here and let's go. Very simple product, come with everything you see here. I mean, your instructions up over here, obviously, but your, your shock, cable insulator, your bottom and top connection for the shock. You've got a little um, rivet nut tool, Loctite, and an Allen wrench. So the install starts over here with this hole in your tailgate. You're gonna be putting the nut zert tool in here, and you're gonna be tightening it down create a threaded insert into that hole in the tailgate. As you can see, your nut zert is in there now. And inside the hole, it is crushed, so it is stuck in there. The next step, is to put Loctite on these threads, which we are applying blue, because that's what it came with, in an incredibly hard to squeeze bottle. And then we will feed this into the hole, and we'll grab our 13 millimeter wrench, and tighten it down. Now it says eight foot pounds in the instruction, so that's not a lot of torque at all. So I'm definitely not gonna over torque that. I know I'm, I'm usually torquing bolts like 220, stuff like that. So eight foot pounds is not much at all. And with the Loctite in there, and with the Loctite in there, it'll definitely freeze up. So for the next step, we're installing this, the upper mount to the shock, and it's gonna install right here.
So as you can see, our upper mount is installed here, right where the um, tailgate cable goes. And the other mount is down here. So the install is pretty much done. We could connect this and that together with the shock, but if we don't take this limiter off, it can cause this to bind and could cause damage to the truck because obviously we're installing something that's not meant to be here. So we're gonna take this off and take the, um, the stopper off and then we'll put the shock on. So after that circus act, we're almost there. Oh yeah. We are able to spin the rest of this off. Retainer off, boom. We're gonna put the bottom back in. And the top back on. The next thing we gotta do is put the cable spacer on here, the insulator, so it doesn't bind. And took a little effort, but squeeze it on. Pliers do help. And the simplest part of this install is the shock. Thicker end goes on top. This we will pull and install down towards the bottom. And here's the whole shock assembly completely installed. Shock there at the bottom. Spacer on the cable. And the shock installed on top. They do also send you a protective film to install to protect from scrapes. That's gonna be installed here. And here. And there we have it. 